What if I told you that not only could you control the RGB of any NVIDIA 3000 series GPU with integrated lighting, we're talking 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, you know, for the lucky eight of you that managed to get one. But there's also a lot more functionality for you to unlock even if your Founders Edition's GPU doesn't have integrated lighting. And the best part is not only is it incredibly quick, but it's also free and easy. And I'm gonna show you how in less than five minutes. Let's get into this. So this video is primarily focused on getting custom RGB set up for your compatible Founders Editions GPUs, because this is the first generation that we've had somewhat native compatibility for this. But also as a nice benefit, by following these steps, you're gonna get advanced software monitoring and control for any NVIDIA 3000 series GPU. So grab your FE card, stick it in your rig, and let's go into software, get this set up for you. Okay, so first thing that I want you to do is go over to your internet browser and type in IQ download. And what this will do is take you as the first result over to the Corsair IQ download page. What I would do is go for the latest Windows version right here. Click download. You can skip that. But if you already have IQ installed, it will likely look like the previous version of IQ. So at the top, click settings and then click update at the bottom. And then once you install IQ, you can just launch it right here. So the first thing that you'll notice is that your RTX 3000 Founders Edition GPU will pop up in the device list. I'm not sure if this is also going to be the case with previous Founders Editions GPUs like 2000 series. Let me know in the comments below if you've tested that. But if your GPU has a controllable LED, you can click into it and customize the lighting zones. And you should have a few different lighting zones. So on the RTX 3080, which I have here, we have two zones. One right here, which is right next to the flow through cooler and one here, which is the GeForce RTX logo itself. So if we click on effect number one, this is right next to the flow through cooler. We have a rainbow wave lighting layer attached to it at the moment, but we can change this to so many other things. You've got rainbow color shift, color pulse, color wave, sequential, strobing, rain, visor, marquee temperature, color warp, and rainbow channel. Now these themselves are single lighting effects to apply to that one LED. That one LED actually stretches across that entire bar. Unfortunately, it's not multiple LEDs in there. But with an IQ, you can use that as a single component for an overall sequential look within your system. Let me show you. So if we choose something within Lightlink, say Visor, that will then spread across the entire system using the GPU as a single component within that sequential lighting sequence, which I think is a really cool effect and one of the great things about IQ. But if you wanted to say break that away or delete that effect, you can then do custom effects. So gradient is one that I've always liked playing around with. We can do say custom colors and keep adding to this effect. And you'll see that lighting effect over a single second will do that. And then you can increase that second to say 10 seconds. And that effect that we've set up is now going to span 10 seconds instead of one. So it's going to be a lot less erratic. Now the other lighting effect that we appear to have available to us is the GeForce RTX logo. Now this seems to be only white LEDs in there, and if it is RGB LEDs, we don't have access to the RGB function. But what you do have access to is two different effects. So a static color, so that's going to be the brightest white at the moment, which we can then reduce, say, to that, have it a bit more subdued, or you can have it as a pulse. And you can go from fully bright white all the way down to zero, or you can have it a bit more subdued and say go, medium opacity, and then a slow effect on that. So then you can integrate that into your whole RGB lighting. So if I set up what lighting I usually have, I think that integrates incredibly well, especially with a rainbow effect. But the nice thing about IQ as well is that you can control your Asus motherboards. You can control a lot more than just the RGB. Independent fan control, advanced monitoring, sensor logging, and it's even going to work if you have other Founders Editions GPUs that don't have LEDs, like the 3070, 3060 Ti. And although these features definitely aren't unique to IQ, the interface design and usability is a lot better than most others. And I'm a big fan of using one solution instead of having eight different pieces of software spawning services that are just trying to fight one another for control, causing conflicts and crashing all the time. So I hope you found this video useful and we managed to get that up and running for you. If you're new here to TechLens, why not check out another video? I'll leave some of my favorites in the video description for you. But get subscribed, turn on notifications, and don't forget, a like is always appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.